Hey everyone, Wall Educator, and you have a salmon rinse here. Today's haircut's gonna be a mid fade with a shape up. My tool of choice today is gonna be the Wall Five Star Senior. This is a very high performance clipper, perfect to get the job done. I'm gonna be using also the Wall Hero trimmer so I can get some fine precision lines and some detailed lines in my haircut. And as always, I'm gonna be disinfecting my tools with Wall's fast action disinfectant. So thank you guys for being here and I'll see you when I'm done. The five star senior clipper is designed for traditional on scalp tapering and fading, precision fades and clipper over comb work. The high impact durable aluminum metal bottom housing is constructed to withstand all the regular wear and tear in your salon or barber shop. Made in the USA, this tool has been rated one of the best barber clippers in the industry for its precision and high quality. So let me start off by disinfecting and oiling my clipper. I'll use Wall Clinic Clip, that's two minute fast acting disinfectant. And then I'll go ahead and use my Wall Clipper Oil. I'll place one drop on each corner, one in the center, and then heel to heel. So five drops of oil. I'm going to start off picking through the hair, just kind of combing through it just to check for any scars, moles, to see the directional pattern that the hair is flowing in, just so I can get a better understanding of the canvas that I'm going to be working on. Now I'm going to start the fade. I'm going to go ahead and adjust my clipper to the open position and I'm going to start creating a guideline. I'm going to work from one side of the temple, kind of slightly dropping towards the back of the head and I'm gonna work that around to the other side of the head. You're also gonna wanna make sure that your guide is consistent. That way you'll have an even blend as you start to work towards taking out the demarcation in your blend. You can utilize your mirror or take a step back just to make sure that the temple areas are even with each other. So now that I got my initial guide in, I'm going to go ahead and start to work below that guideline. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust my clipper to the in between open and close position. And I'm going to work about a half inch below what I just did with the clipper open. Now I'm going to go ahead and adjust my clipper to the close position and I'll blend that into what I just previously cut with the clipper adjusted to in between open and closed. So I went open, in between and closed and I'm just blending one right up into the other.
Now I'm going to take the number one attachment comb and I'm going to adjust my clipper to the open position. I'm going to work from my initial guide. This time I'm going to work up an inch and I'm going to work that from one side of the head to the other. Now I'm going to adjust my clipper to the closed position with the number one attachment comb on it and I'm going to start to work from my initial guide up a half inch now. Working that up into what I previously cut with the open position and the number one attachment comb on it. As I work around the head, you may notice that there is some slight demarcation where I first put in my initial guide and right now where I'm working with the number one attachment comb, I'm going to remove that demarcation with the half attachment comb. I'm going to go ahead and adjust my clipper to the closed position and I'm going to work where I see that demarcation at. Now as I work this around the head, I'm only working in the small areas, the small sections where I do see demarcation. So most of the time I'm only using the corner of the clipper blade and I'm only using about like the first four teeth on the clipper. Okay, so now that I have that demarcation removed out of the haircut, I'm going to go ahead and continue to work my way up. I'm going to take the one and a half attachment comb 
and I'm going to adjust it to the open position and I'm going to bring that up an inch now. Now I'm going to go ahead and adjust my clipper lever to the closed position with the one and a half attachment comb and I'm going to work that up now just a half inch. As I start to work that around the head, I do notice some slight demarcation once again. I'm going to take the number one attachment comb and I'm going to adjust my clipper to the closed position. And just like I used with the half attachment comb, I'm going to just start to work out that demarcation using the corner of the blade. Now, one thing you want to do is you want to pay attention very closely to the growth pattern and the direction that the hair is actually flowing in. I am working against the natural growth at this point. So I'm going to work against the grain, against the natural growth, and I'm going to remove that line of demarcation. Up until this point, I've been cutting the hair against the grain, against the natural growth pattern. 
Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my number one and a half attachment comb and I'm gonna adjust it to the open position. And I'm gonna start to work now with the natural hair growth. So I'm gonna work with the grain now. This is gonna help me create a smooth transition in my blend and also prep me for when I start to work on the top portion of the shape up. Now I'm going to adjust my lever to the closed position with the one and a half attachment comb on it and I'm going to continue working with the grain and I'm going to work right under where I left off with the one and a half attachment comb and I'm keeping in mind still the growth pattern and you're going to see and watch that I'm actually maneuvering my clipper and adjusting it so that I am cutting with the natural growth pattern. So. I'm actually gonna start to come in from longer length and work my way down to the shorter length until I remove the line of demarcation that's in there. So like I said, I'm gonna just keep on transitioning down. So I'm starting off longer and I'm working my way down to the shorter length. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my number one attachment comb and I'm gonna adjust it to the open position. And I'm gonna continue working with the natural growth with the grain. Now I'm gonna transition down lower and I'm gonna adjust my clipper with the number one attachment comb to the closed position and I'm gonna continue to work with the natural growth of the hair. Also keep in mind the same as when I was cutting against the grain, even though I'm cutting with the natural growth, at times I'm only using the corner of the blade to smooth out the hair and to make my transition. So I'm only using like the first four teeth of the blade to get in those tight areas.
I am going to put three design lines in this haircut. So I'm going to go ahead and section off where I'm going to put those design lines at. And I'm going to cut that down to the number one attachment comb in the closed position. Now I'm going to use my five star hero trimmer. This has a T blade on it. So it's going to help me get in those tight areas that I want to get into to create those design lines and also to shape out the front of the hairline. So I will start off in the center of the forehead and then I'll start working my way towards the corner of the hairline. Once I get to the corner, then I'll connect the sides and then I'll come back and do the same on the other side of the hairline. So once I got one side in, then I'll go ahead and continue from the center of the hairline and I'll work my way out towards the other corner of the hairline. So I try to make sure that I'm keeping it consistent and consistently straight. So I'll utilize my mirror or I'll take a step back. I'm gonna start creating my design lines now. The hero's perfect for this uh, with the T-blade and it being small enough to fit in the palm of your hands. You could definitely maneuver uh, in these tight areas. So I'm gonna put three curved design lines now in the front part of this hairline. Now that I have my three design lines in, I'm going to go ahead and continue to work with my hero trimmer and I'm going to clean out the remaining portion of the hair at the bottom of the haircut. So this tool is strong enough to go through uh, longer hair. The hero has a great motor and a great cutting blade on it. So this will transition right up into where I left off with my five star senior in the closed position. Now I'm going to take my five star senior in the closed position and I'm going to begin to work at the front of the hairline. So I'm going to shape up this free hand and I'm going to make this in the front here so that it complements the three design lines that I put in. Then once I'm finished with that, I'll go ahead and start working on the top portion of the haircut. And what I do is I like to start off in the center and just kind of freehand shape over the center. And then I start to work towards the sides. So I establish the length that I want going straight down the center. And then I start to work towards the sides of the haircut. Once I have the top portion done, then I start to work on the sides and around the back.
If you're interested in any of our wall tools or you would like more information on our wall tools, just go ahead and visit wallpro.com. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm wall educator Nieves Almarez. Thank you for watching.